Again, welcome. I think we should start with a round of applause. We had some concerns. We gave them the option, and they said effectively to, as a group, we came here to work, not to sit inside in the air conditioning. We were kind of hoping they were going to go to the air conditioning because we were pretty hot and tired, but they, they soldiered on. So you've got some great people coming here. Uh, very quickly. I don't know if you guys knew this, but this program actually is seven days. We expanded from five to six, and there's actually a seventh day. Did you guys know that? You can nod or shake your heads. No. Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You spent six days with us basically dictating to you everything you're going to do. The seventh day starts tomorrow. All right, and it stops the day you walk out of a fire station for the last time. The content is not dictated to you. The content of the seventh day is entirely up to you. It's what you choose to do with it, whether you go on for a career in the fire service or somewhere else. The seventh day is about you guys carrying on your self-confidence, your self-discipline, respect for whatever trade you go into and other people, and doing the right thing. That's something that we really stress here. Whatever you do, just do the right thing. It feels good, and it's usually cheaper than doing the wrong thing. I'd like to point out that this morning, for the first time, we actually created a house fund, which is a phenomenon we have in a lot of career fire departments where everybody chips in a little bit of money and we basically drink coffee for free. We just buy the coffee. So we tried that this year. These guys were able to consume vast quantities of ice cream and pizza on a couple of nights as part of a communal fund. And we elected a finance officer, Mr. John Sand, who's a master of the three A's of accounting. John, can you put your hand up? Excellent. If you guys ever need to count, this is your guy. Um, so they had a significant amount of money coming back and they actually came to us this morning and asked if they could take that money and actually donate it into purchasing a brick which lines the walkway of the Connecticut State Firefighters Memorial, which was profoundly moving. That's the caliber of people you got here. Uh, they've spoken more eloquently of themselves than I would ever be able to do. Um, Whatever you guys do, enjoy it, have fun, take what you could use from here, do the right thing, and whatever profession you walk into, make it rain. They get that. There are two years ago, that's the honor cadet position. So these guys already know that we're watching them 24 seven, but among other things we're looking for is who does the right thing when they don't think we're watching? We always are. But who actually goes above and beyond, performs their duties and duties of others, doesn't complain, and is actually always looking for more? We try to build role models here. Um, we do a pretty good job of that, and a lot of that's with the quality that, that these folks come to us with based on what you've instilled. But we sit down over the week, we watch people, watch what they do, and there's a, a tangible reward to being in the, in the top of the group, the best of the best, it just does it because that's intrinsic to who you are. And what we're able to do to recognize that outside of pointing them out and embarrassing them in the next 30 seconds is to offer them a scholarship position in the Advanced Skills and Concepts class, which we hold in August every year, which is also a new program. It takes a much smaller number of students because the skills that they get there are, are well far beyond what you're going to see already this week. So I'm very proud to announce that after we all discussed it, that the Honor Cadet for the June 2013 Introduction to the Fire Service Program is Ms. Megan Hayes from the Newington Fire Department. Woo! Any chief officers from Newington President that would like to step up and participate and hand her a certificate, you can step right up here. I'll call the town from Broadbrook. The chiefs can come up. Daniel DeSopo.
from the North Brantford Fire Department, Kyle Conklin. Also from North Brantford, Nicholas DeCunto. Suffield Fire Department, William Davis.